Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Good so everybody guys, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So as you can see, euro recently was not satisfied just with the minor retracement we have suggested where the market had chance to turn up again. Mostly we were watching for this level because market stands close to the target and usually uh, when this happens, uh, very rare, some deep retracement happens because in this situation market is gravitating to the target. So, but currently, with the overall situation in the market stands a bit tricky because market, many traders uh, starts to think what to do during the elections uh, and maybe somehow to <clears throat> repossess the assets that they have. Uh, it leads to some greater volatility on the markets across the board. So. Uh, as a result, although market has made an attempt to move higher and shows the pullback, but as you can see, spike on a daily chart up from the level that we have specified, but it was not able to proceed uh, action to the upside and turns to the deep retracement. Overall, bullish context still stands on the market, uh, but now we have to consider lower standing support levels, where again, uh, it could be some chance to take the position. So currently, as you can see, market is flirting with the daily MACD indicator. And it means that if everything will close as it stands right here, right now, we will get the bullish grabber here. So that's the passion that we need to keep an eye on the daily chart. That's important. It's even more important if you will see on the next chart where market stands right now, because this is really strong support and appearing of the, of the grabber around the strong support, it brings more confidence that market could reestablish that protection. So take a look on the first for our time frame chart. First, I will show you what has happened yesterday. So that was our stop for the trading. You can see that the market has dropped right to the confidence support. This is our yesterday confidence, as you can see. Butterfly was intact with this drop because market stands above these lows. And pullback has started to happen. So it was not really small. So it's approximately 30 pips up. And then you can see another grabber has been formed. So that was the signal that it would be better to close or move stops to the break even. Move stops to the break even, it actually, anyway, you, you should do. Well, now market has dropped through this level and has erased the confidence. So this setup that we have hoped could work, although start was not bad. But actually, yes, later it has been erased by this drop. What we have currently on the next follow time frame chart, we have additional levels to the, to the downside. Its market crowd gradually is coming to it. So first of all, take a look. Market has completed the OP. OP stands in agreement with the confidence support 1760, 1778 on the follow time frame chart, and also it forms the butterfly buy here. So actually, it has target slightly below the OP somewhere in this area. So anyway. That's the level to keep an eye on. How we could deal currently with the, with the strong levels? First of all, in the current circumstances, the only way to, to take the trades is keep an eye on the strong levels because strong levels at least provide you some uh, support, provide you some protection. And uh, the first touch of these levels, just by the technical moment, market could respect for the minor pullback as it has happened yesterday right here. So despite that market collapsed, first touch, 30 pips pull, pull back. That's the result in a ward of the strong support area. That's why always we call and recommend for taking the positions around the strong levels. And first level, ne first next level, let's call it, is the next level market stands right now. What we could say about this level, first of all, it's rather strong, so minor pullback here probably also could happen. <clears throat> but what I do not like is the acceleration. 
with the, also for the butterfly. So acceleration also always means that chance on the downward continuation looks greater. But we have a lot of um, bets on the table currently. Potentially we could get the grubber on the daily. Here we have strong support. So the one way how you could do, deal with all this stuff, you could try to take positions with strong levels, preferable if you also will get some reversal patterns, for example, on the 5-minute chart or only on the 15-minute chart, something here before the position taken, and trying to take the positions around these levels because with the, with the, with the pullback uh, to the uh, upside, move stops to the break even and see what will happen next. If this level will not hold, market collapsed, do the same around the next support. Here we have another agreement, it's 117 for 10 areas, XOP with the 618 support. But uh, at the same time, the things that uh, are not really good, so just think about it. So if first confidence support has been broken, wasn't able to hold the market, second confidence support has been broken, an agreement and was not able to hold the market, what chance that just a simple agreement will hold the market? So probability stands lower. So that's why current level where market stands right now, it stands in the center of the bullish context and its most strong level that market has currently, especially with the potential grabber on a daily. And it is really will be nice if market will be able to hold it around this level. So to keep the bullish context, if this level will be crushed and destroyed, well, uh, the, the bullish context will not be uh, destroyed totally because market still has the last uh, support around 1715 area. But the breakout of the two confidence in a row with the acceleration, it will be bad sign. And then could mean that some run into the safe haven, the demand for the United States dollar could increase. That's what, could, what, what uh, these things could mean in the nearest time. This is also interesting stuff, guys. So if you have read our gold report in the, weekly, in the weekend, there is a very interesting chart. It, it shows the, the behavior of the dollar index and stock market on different voting years. And it shows that as a rule, incumbent lost the victory, uh, lost the elections if stock market is falling and the United States dollar is rising. Currently, as you know, on the stock market, we see downside reversal. It is not as dramatic yet, but still some bearish behavior exists. Here is, we see also, it's not really strong, but the dollar strength is coming here. And today is only Wednesday. So maybe within the next two sessions, if this will be acceleration, that also will be the sign of the possible incumbent loss. So a lot of interesting stuff right now is going on in the markets. Uh, speaking con con uh, on, on, on the euro, particularly on this level, well, as I said, keep in mind on this level, OP has been reached. Wait when the butterfly target will be reached, slightly below the OP. Drop your time frame and watch for the bullish patterns. If you will get something, I don't know, maybe it will be minor hand and shoulders patient here could be formed. You could try to take the long position. But move stops to the break even at the first upward bounce for 15, 10, 20, 25 pips. Because as you can see, overall situation here stands tricky. And chance on our drop are really not very small. Or just ignore all this stuff and sit on the hands and see what will happen. Or wait at least till the grabber. If grabber will be confirmed by the end of the session, you could take a look at the markets tomorrow and see what's going on there and make your another decision maybe. So that's what we have on the euro.